Hey Google Workspace admins, this is Goldie again. And in this video, I will show you how you can use the tool G License Manager to understand the cost saving opportunities for your Google Workspace or your Google Cloud identity. If you haven't watched my previous video yet, I'll just link it somewhere here. So please go and watch those previous videos, understand how the tool works, install the tool, and then finally come back and watch this video. Okay, so let's talk about cost saving opportunities. So there are a few cases where, you know, uh, you create the users, but users haven't uh, logged in. That means you're paying to Google every month, but your users are not leveraging it. Second scenario would be, you know, you created the users and then these users are not active. They logged in once, and then after that, it's been a while, these users have logged in. So ideally, you should check with these users if they really need the mailboxes or the licenses, otherwise you will be wasting money. And then the final uh, scenario might be that uh, you have suspended some of your users, but you may know that Google also offers a license type which is called archiving user license or archive user license. If you want to learn more about it, I'll just uh, ping my guide somewhere here. So essentially archive users is three times cheaper than the regular uh, Google Workspace license uh, which you are paying if you just suspend the user and don't archive the user. And this tool will help you figure out all these three scenarios. Of course, you can save money by applying other techniques, but these are the very prominent ones in terms of licensing. So all you need to do is first, let's call the sheet something, maybe uh, license manager, okay? And then I'll go to extensions, I'll go to G license manager, I will click on optimize cost. And by the way, you can install the sheets that you see at the bottom by clicking on setup sheets. If you haven't done it, watch my previous video. For this one, I'll go to optimize cost and I'll click on cost saving opportunities. As soon as I do that, it will ask me what is considered active in my organization. Like how many days the user uh, uh, should have been logged in in the last few days so that this, this user can be considered active, right? I will say if the user hasn't logged in from last, you know, uh, hasn't logged in in the last 15 days, then consider that user as inactive user. You can enter any number of days that you want. Just enter the number itself. Do not type string like days, etc. Click on OK, and then the script will run behind the scenes. It will apply all the logic based on the active, inactive uh, number of days that you provided, and it will come back to you saying there are zero users who are suspended but not archived. So you are doing great here. It will tell you that, you know, there are 20 users that you created, but these users never logged in, so you're wasting money there. And then there are a few users that you created, but it's been more than 15 days they logged in. So you should actually check with these users uh, what's going on, and if required, just archive them, delete them, or take the appropriate next action. If you need more details, you have the more details here. It will tell you which user it's talking about. For example, if I say, uh, you know, Azure uh, user that was created 400 days ago and he never logged in. So you can take actions based on that. Now, at this time, you might need to suspend these users or maybe delete these users. If that's the case, I have another tool just like this, easy to use Google Sheet based add-on. It's called OK Goldie. You can just search Google and it can help you perform all these bulk operations right from your Google Sheet. So I hope this uh, helps a bit in finding cost saving opportunities inside your Google Workspace or Cloud Identity Instance. In the next video, I'll show you how you can bulk assign licenses uh, to your users. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put in the comments below and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.